uh, I didn't like this game for uh, to pick on the money line. I just thought that it was a bit trappy because Udinese a plus three twenty. Remember two weeks ago, Bologna had unbeaten or only been beaten once in nine went there, and Udinese won three nil at an absolute canter. But Milan are looking stronger, and they're sort of looking back to their sort of. Oh, Optional best, I would say, because I say optional because all of a sudden the ball's being lent to many players in many positions and they're getting their rewards. Um, draw is at plus 272, but I think the over two and a half at minus 117 brings in the both teams to score and over, Nick. I don't know so much about the goals in this one, but I agree with what you first said, Flash, about you know trap or it's a tricky, tricky game for Milan. Mm. I actually prefer Udinese on the double chance here. And I, I give a couple of reasons. I mean, first of all, Milan for whatever reason has struggled with Udinese in recent seasons. They only have one win in their last six meetings with them. Uh, so take that for what it's worth. Of course they did lose one nil to um, Udinese also back in November. Granted it was a busy time for them. They were struggling all around, you know, Champions League duties, injuries, whatnot. So maybe not the best example of what the team, how they're playing right now. Uh, but Udinese just have proven to be difficult to beat. I mean, they only have two wins somehow uh, on the season, but they also only have six losses, right? They've 12 draws. I mean, that might very well be how this thing plays out. Uh, if you look at the table, you guys know I like, uh, you know, I like to look at chances created and expect the goals. If you look at the table, these teams are separated by a whopping 24 points, right? So it's like, oh my gosh, look at, look at how different they are. But I have Udinese listed as a buy team for me personally. Uh, they've been underperforming both offensively and de defensively when you compare to their chances created and their expected goals. And they sit 16th in the table, right? But they're 11th in expected points this year. That's, again, based on expected goal data. Uh, and Milan aren't that much higher. They have uh, Udinese is at 27.6 expected points, Milan at 33.6 and rank fifth. So you're talking about only about six points in that regard difference and again that doesn't mean that's how it's going to play on the field it just helps me uh look at you know what kind of play is happening on the field whether or not the goals go in eventually those things kind of work themselves out but irregardless of that i still think Udinese does they're just tough to beat and, I, and they've given milan trouble uh, over the years uh you know there's not a lot of major absences here with uh afcon going on you got chuck wheezy of course for for milan not not playing but i'm not really I don't really care too much about that. I just think it's it's a tough spot for Milan here. And I like Udinese to maybe win or or at least draw here. I, I just I'm not fully trusting Milan, but it's not an official pick for me. It's just the way I, I kind of feel. Yeah, I see Milan scoring twice. Um uh, but I'm not one I'm I'm not sure if twice is going to be enough because I think Udinese may, uh, well, I think they definitely score because obviously you look at the numbers it's minus 208 Mina for Udinese to get on the score sheet. I think this game starts 1-1 or even 1-2 or 2-1. Yeah, I, I, for me, I think this is going to be a clear Milan win. Um, I think they're very conscious of the fact that Udinese seems to be a bit of a stumbling block for them. Um, I agree with with what Nick said there. You know, if you look at the last six matches between them, Milan has indeed only won once and obviously lost the reverse fixture. So this has been a problem that they've had um, with Udinese in general. And that's largely because I think Udinese are a side that you can't figure out. They're either brilliant or they're not. And yet they're the worst home team in Serie A at the moment. There's only two teams who have managed to get less points at home than Udinese. They have one win in 10 at home. So the draw is a potential as well. But when I'm looking at the fact that right now we're starting to see the best of this Real Madrid, oh, sorry, Real Madrid, <laughs> Maybe that's a Freudian slip, but we're starting to see the best ahead of players like Giroud. Um, we're hoping that Leao will start showing us what he's really made of. Pulisic won player of the month, so he's having a great time really showing us his stuff. And and obviously Loftus-Cheek, the way that he started to play, it, it, sometimes even ahead of Giroud, um, especially if you look at that match against Roma, there was just so much tactical surprises there. there was It was so fun to watch. Purely really designed the team to counter the opponent, and that is actually one of his strengths and we haven't seen that all season because he's been too busy trying to figure out this team so I, I hope that we're going to go back to seeing Pioli at his finest especially if Teo Hernandez plays on the left and you've got that relationship going um, with Leao ahead of him then it's a forceful reaction going forward and I think it's just such a such a good relationship there on the right as well Pulisic and, and Calabria have started to create this great relationship as well so I hope that Milan, having won their last four um, on the trot in Serie A, will show us once again why they're the third best team in Serie A because they are they are trying to prove themselves. They are trying to challenge. 
I don't know whether or not they're too behind now to do anything special, but I think this is a good match to start it off with, only because Udinese, they have a lot going for them. But I do think sometimes when they don't feel like they're going to win a match, they don't show us the very best in them. So I'm going to go for a Milan win here. I think they'll score more than a goal. Yeah, listen, the first Milan win is actually having all their players available um, who are fit because, again, injuries, suspensions have been basically like an anchor around their uh, ankle. But now it seems to be that they're coming through that and they are strong. They're strong individually and they're not reliant on one individual. Yeah, Leal gets all the credit. Giroud just keeps defying logic. But you have got plenty other players who can pop up and uh, get you a reward if you want to go in the Milan way. Uh, let's have a little look at the official picks, though, because I've gone with both teams scoring over two and a half goals at plus 120. Just basically that 2-2, two -two, maybe that Udinese win 2-1 or Milan win 2-1. I don't see clean sheets. Milan and over one and a half at plus 125 also brings in that 2-1. Uh, and uh, Zach's, uh, yeah, it's completely thrown me. 